My name is Jan Orbarke, and I'd like to show you how to run Firefox Net Monitor tool within a browser tab. We recently implemented a support for running the tool just like any other web application loaded over HTTP protocol. First thing we need to do is starting our target Firefox instance. We'll connect to this browser instance later in order to intercept HTTP traffic. I'm using standard Mac command to launch Firefox and also pre-created dev profile. But essentially, all you need to do is run Firefox browser. If this is the first time, we need to also enable remote debugging in order to remotely connect to Firefox. Let's open DevTools toolbox and switch to the options panel. Make sure you have this enable remote debugging checkbox selected. If not, do it and restart Firefox. Second, we need to start listening for incoming connections. This might be done using developer toolbar. You can open it from web developer menu. All you need to do is executing listen 68. This command opens a port 6080 listening for incoming remote connections. Our target Firefox instance is all set, and we can start development server responsible for serving the NetMonitor tool over HTTP. The server needs to run within NetMonitor directory. Let's quickly check that we are in the right place. If this is the first time, you need to also install all dependency modules. Just run yarn install. It may take some time to download all modules, but it's all already installed in my case. Now let's run yarn start. You can see that the development server is successfully listening at localhost 8000. Let's try it and load the application, our net monitor tool. I'm using another browser instance to load the app. What you see now is the launchpad that allows picking a tab available in our target browser. There is just one tab in our case, so let's use it. And here is our net monitor tool. It's the same application you might know from Firefox Developer Toolbox, but running in different context within a browser tab. The page is using WebSockets to connect to the port 6080 we opened previously. Clicking this reload button will reload the target browser tab and we can see all HTTP requests executed by that page. We might also trigger some HTTP activity by typing text into the search field. You can see that all additional XHRs are properly appended to the existing list. Running the tool within a browser tab isn't only useful for remote debugging, but also for development. Let's see an example. Here is a piece of code responsible for rendering background. Let's try to change background color, save the changes and see what happens. The NetMonitor app supports so-called hot reload feature. And so all we have to do is just wait for Webpack to reveal the source code bundle and reload the page for us. See, it's all red now, all automatically reloaded. This new setup is great for development. We don't have to rebuild Firefox every time we change the source code. We can see our changes instantly. And one last thing, since we are running within a browser tab, we can use our own tools to debug our page. For example, we can use the inspector inspect the page, and disable the red color again. See? It's all white again. This is an excellent way to develop tools, since consuming our own tools when building them allows us to see and feel the user experience. That's it. Thanks for watching.